Thank you for listening to the devotional today. The devotional is titled, Do You Realize How Special You Are? You're Bought with the Blood of Christ by Jack Williams. Do you know how special you are? You know, sometimes we, we look and we'll see something of great value, a special thing. You say, how much did you get for that? And the person will say some amount and we'll stand in awe because they gave so much. But you know, whenever you think about us as the church, you realize uh, again in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, in verse 24, it says, uh, Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, let wives be unto their husbands in all things. Then he says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So you look at a Christian, a child of God, a member of the church, say, how much am I worth? Christ looks and says, I gave myself. You know, in the book of Acts, the 20th chapter, in verse 28, the Apostle Paul was talking there to the elders of Ephesus, the ones who oversee the church, and he told them to take heed unto yourselves and to the flock over which the Holy Spirit has made you overseer, feed the church of God, which he has purchased with his own blood. There you think of the church, but in 1 Corinthians 6, uh, the 6th chapter, the apostle gets kind of personal, even more so. There he's talking about the preventatives for sin, maybe you might say. In verse 19, as he was chastising them for engaging in sin and fornication, he said, Know you not that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you and you have of God, and you are not your own. You are bought with a price. What again was that price? The blood of Christ. You know, on the first day of the week, we know the apostles came together in Acts 20 and verse 7 and took the Lord's Supper, and that's why is the church that follows him and his will, his desire, that we do the same thing. So each first day of the week, we join together, and we remember what Jesus said as he instituted that supper. In Matthew 26, verse 26 through 28, he says, uh, As they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my body. And he took the cup, and he gave thanks, and he gave them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. You see, each first day of the week, we take the Lord's Supper, and we do it in remembrance of him. And we look and we're amazed at the sacrifice that he made, the blood that was shed, without which, in Hebrews the 10th chapter, there could be no remission of sins. But you look and you think, too, how special we are. He did that for you and I. You know, the story is told of the the disease that was just going and ravaging the nations. And they were looking and looking for a cure. And finally, they, they found that there was something in the blood that this one child had. So they went to the parents and they said, we need to get blood from your son to make this vaccine that can cure the world. The man looked at his wife and he said, well, okay. Well, they came, got everything ready, and they came to get the boy. And the boy looked at the daddy and the daddy said, well, when will he be back? And the people looked at him and said, I'm sorry, sir, you misunderstood. It's going to take all of his blood. The parents were aghast. The child looked, and he said, is there any other way? And then they all looked at each other, and they realized there was no other way. That child went, gave his life, his blood, to save those people. Well, Jesus gave his blood. He went willingly. No man took his life from him. He gave it of himself. God the Father so loved us that he gave his only begotten Son. Jesus, as he was in the garden about to undergo that horrific death, he 
prayed to his father and he said if there be any other way let this cup pass from me but the answer is there was no other way why because God looks at us and says you're so special Jesus blood was given to purchase you to purchase the church again I remind you you know everybody looks and sometimes they say oh that's great Jesus paid it all and Jesus did pay it all but are we willing to come to him Acts the second chapter verse 47 they were added to the church why because they gladly received his word and did those things Hebrews 5 Jesus himself in verse 8 he learned obedience by the things that he suffered he began, thus became the author, author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him God's love in showing us how precious we are the shedding of that blood is just unimaginable how can anybody look and say well that's good but I'm not gonna obey you but when you do obey him you become so amazingly special because you're bought with a price you go out and have a good day and you remember how much God loves you and you love him back thank you for listening thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming also we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time more information can be found on our website at the link below thank you